Good morning, boys and girls. How are you today? Welcome back. Our lesson for today is Module 9, Our World Part 2. Let's get started. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to identify the rule of as plus adjective plus as to describe similarities and differences. Use the rule of as plus adjective plus as in speaking and writing. To find this lesson, you need to open your student's book, pages 106, 107. Don't forget your workbook too, page 110 and 111. Let's start our lesson with a warm-up activity. Are you ready? Let's describe our favorite things. My cat is cute. My dog is cute. My cat is as cute as my dog. The yellow car is fast. The red car is fast. The yellow car is as fast as the red car. Spiders are dangerous. Snakes are more dangerous. Spiders aren't as dangerous as snakes. Math is interesting. Science is more interesting. Math isn't as interesting as science. Did you notice the underlined words? Cute, fast, dangerous, and interesting. What do we call them? Adjectives. My cat is as cute as my dog. The yellow car is as fast as the red car. Spiders aren't as dangerous as snakes. Math isn't as interesting as science. Let's start with identifying the new structure. As plus adjective plus as. We use this structure as plus adjective plus as to make comparisons and to describe similarities or differences between two people, animals, or things. Now it's time to move to our students' book, page 107. Listen carefully to the look box and follow. Look! Hassan is as fast as Jamal. Fatima isn't as tall as Rima. Let's have a look at this example. What do you see? A lion and a tiger. What do you think of their size? Are they both the same? Can you use the adjective big to describe that? A lion is as big as a tiger. Let's have a look at our second example. What do you see? A horse a giraffe. What do you think? Which one of them is taller than the other? It's the giraffe. Now I want you to use this adjective to describe them. The horse isn't as tall as the giraffe. We'll start with the affirmative form. We use as plus adjective plus as to make comparisons between two things, people or animals that are similar to each other. Let's start with the first form, the affirmative. How do we use it to describe between two nouns? We start with the first noun, then we add the verb, then we use the new structure as plus adjective as, then we use the other noun. Have a look at these two pictures. It's delicious. Everyone loves cookies and cupcakes. Cookies are as delicious as cupcakes. Let's practice. Look at the squid's eye. Remember from our previous lesson, how big was the squid's eye? The giant squid's eye is as big as a beach ball. Now let's move to the negative form. We use not as plus adjective plus as to make comparisons when two people animals or things are different. 
Now let's move to the negative form. As you know, we add not in the negative form. Have a look at the structure. We start with the noun, then we move to the verb, then we add not. Then we complete the structure as, adjective as, then we add the last noun. Have a look at these two pictures. We have a turtle and a rabbit. Can we compare them together? The turtle isn't as fast as the rabbit. Let's practice. Look at these pictures. We have a chimpanzee and a gorilla. Can we compare them together? The chimpanzee isn't as big as the gorilla. Now let's refer to the text and highlight the new structure. Turn to your student's book, page 106, activity number two. Did you find any of the new structure? Yes. Now pause the video and do the rest by yourself. Now let's answer some questions. One, how big is the giant squid's eye? Can you refer to the text? Yes. Its eye is as big as a beach ball. Two, is the chimpanzee as big as the gorilla? Can you find it in the text? Yes. No, it isn't. The chimpanzee isn't as big as the gorilla. Well done. Now you have completed your first objective. It's time now to move to the second one. Use the rule of as plus adjective plus as in speaking and writing. It's listening time. Turn to your student's book, page 107. Activity number four. Ready? Four. Match the names to the pictures. Have a look at the cats in front of you. The white one is called Toby. The other ones, we want to match them to their correct names. Now, have a look at each one of them. Can you describe this cat? It has got the longest tail of all. What about this cat? It's the biggest cat of all. What about this one? It's the smallest cat of all. Now it's time to listen. Four. Listen and match the names to the pictures. Look at my family's pets. Toby is my cat. It's white. Jack is my brother's cat. It is as big as Toby, but its ears are smaller than Toby's. Jack has got the longest tail of all. Leo is my sister's cat. Its tail is as long as Toby's tail. Its ears are bigger than Toby's. It's the biggest cat of all. Simba is my grandpa's cat. Its ears are as big as Toby's, but its tail is shorter than Toby's. It's the smallest cat of all. Now it's time to check your answers. Which one is cat number A? It's Jack. Great job. Let's move to cat B. Which one of them? It's Leo. What about the last one? C. It's Simba. Great job, everyone. Let's move to the next activity. It's speaking time. Turn to your student's book, page 107, activity number five. Five. Look at the pictures in activity four and make sentences. Let's start with Jack and Toby. Can you compare them together? Listen to the girls. Jack's eyes are as big as Toby's. Simba's ears are as big as Toby's. Leo's tail isn't as long as Jack's. Now pause the video and do the rest by yourself. Welcome back. Now let's check your answers. Toby's tail is as long as Leo's. Simba's eyes aren't as small as Leo's. Great job! Let's move to the next activity. Let's practice. Turn to your workbook, page 110. Activity number 2. Look, read and complete. Use as plus adjective plus as. Have a look at the adjectives in the box. Long, 
tall, small. Have a look at the pictures. Picture number one, you have a giraffe. In front of the giraffe, there are three men on a ladder. Picture number two, you can see a blue whale and five elephants. In picture number three, you have a baby pygmy marmoset and it's sitting on a person's finger. Now let's answer number one. Have a look at picture number one. Giraffes are three men. Giraffes are as tall as three men. Now pause the video and do the rest by yourself. Welcome back. Now it's time for number two. Have a look at the second picture. Blue whales are as long as five elephants. Three. A baby pygmy marmoset is as small as a person's finger. Great job, everyone. Let's move to the next activity. Let's practice. Turn to your workbook page 111, activity number three. Look and complete. Use not, be, plus as, plus adjective, plus as. Have a look at the pictures in front of you. We have a picture of camels and giraffes. Let's start by doing the first one for you as a model. Camels, we have not tall as giraffes. Aren't as tall. Now it's time for number two. Giraffes, beautiful as camels. Giraffes are as beautiful as camels. Now pause the video and do the rest by yourself. Welcome back. Let's check your answers. Three, a camel's neck. Well done, isn't as long as a giraffe's. Four, camels are as interesting as giraffes. Great job. Let's move to the next activity. Let's practice. Turn to your workbook page 111, activity number four. Read and write. Use not be plus as plus adjective plus as. Number one is already done for you in your book. Let's check it together. Rima is 11 years old. Yasmin is 12 years old. You need to use the adjective old. Rima isn't as old as Yasmin. Number two. Hassan's rabbit is cute, but Rashid's cat is cuter. Now we're going to use the adjective cute. Hassan's rabbit isn't as cute as Rashid's cat. Now pause the video and do the rest by yourself. Welcome back. Number three. The bird is very thirsty, but the turtle isn't. We'll use the adjective thirsty. The turtle isn't as thirsty as the bird. Four, history and geography are interesting subjects. We have the adjective interesting. History is as interesting as geography. Great job. Let's move to the next activity. Write three sentences using as plus adjective plus as to compare between your favorite things. Let's hear our friends Ahmed and Noura. I'll write about my favorite toys. I'll write about my favorite animals. The horse isn't as fast as the cheetah. My doll is as big as my teddy bear. What about you? Don't forget to share your ideas with your friends and teacher. Great job! You have completed all the objectives. Well done! Now it's time to scan the QR and play the game. Hope you enjoy it! Thank you for watching. See you next time!